Ciao. Oh, Glyco, do it yourself. Available at select retail outlets everywhere. From the same... So, all right. Don't we all... <laughs> uh, sorry well, yeah hey uh brian chaffin is here with us everybody brian yeah. chaffin he is the editor-in-chief of the mac observer and um he's also host of apple context machine mm-hmm. still waiting for my invitation by the way oh and, uh, it's an honor just to be thought that i might be invited someday don't you even worry about it i am it. pretty sure that i have actually <laughs> invited you and it just hasn't worked out <laughs> yeah what's funny is you invite me when you're on this show it's, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm just giving you a hard time, but it's funny. I think if you actually play back the last time you were on this show, you said, well, why aren't you on that show? I was like, because you don't invite me. And you're like, well, you're invited. And I said, well, send me an email. And here we are four months later. Okay, hold on. What are you doing to February 8th? Uh, I got a thing. Anyway. You do not have a thing. You're going to be on my show <laughs> on February I, no, 8th. I got, I got a thing. I'm sorry. Now. There's a, there's a, well, I won't see it because I'm on Do Not Disturb. Plus, I got, I got stuff and there's people. And let's talk about something. So uh, what about a, a year ago, I guess? I know it was like one of the first times you were on this show, so a little bit less than a year ago. We were talking about Apple and augmented reality, and mm. and I believe what you said, I believe what Brian Chaffin said was, well, Apple's never going to make a helmet, so just get that out of your head now. And then, not unlike the story that we did yesterday about, I think it was Bloomberg, who said Apple's redesigning the Mac uh, Bloomberg came out with a story last week that I did not cover on Mac OS Ken because the whole thing was rumor. And it was, as Philip Elmer DeWitt said, a hot mess of a rumor. Like, the more you read the story, the less it seemed like anybody knew what they were talking about. Because while I did not talk about it on Mac OS Ken, I did talk about it on Mac OS Ken Live. I'm talking about all these different things that uh, Bloomberg said that Apple is going to build a virtual reality headset. And it's going to be way expensive, and they're looking to maybe sell 180,000 of them in a year. And it was really just precursor to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, augmented reality thing that they're going to do at some point anyway. Uh, that might still be a few years out. And by the way, Apple might change their direction on this whole VR thing, and they might just scrap it all and forget it. And uh, and and what I said was the whole thing read less like somebody who knows something and more like. Remember how uh, the rumor was that Apple would feed like false information to somebody and then if it came back in the press, they would know they need to fire that person. Yeah. Yeah. It, it read like a bunch of those because there was just so much stuff that just didn't, it's like, it was like reading Mad Libs about VR. Okay. Well, so do you remember back on Monday, you asked me, um, you sort of asked like, like, you know, which, which of these rumors do I think has any merit? And then I very cleverly didn't answer that question on Monday because we talked about cryptocurrency on Monday, Tuesday on Tuesday. Okay, I very cl- that was see the days fly. I uh, and then <laughs> I and then I, did, I I sort of sidestepped the the question and talked instead about what I want to see. Um, Apple rumors have a, have a pretty definitive and easily sussable life cycle. Okay. The closer we get to the release of something, mm-hmm. the more accurate they tend to be. Right. And that's because there are too many, uh, as I've said on Kelly's show, there are too many uh, fingers and eye holes on Apple's products mm-hmm. once they start manufacturing them for anything to stay secret. Literally sure. millions. And some, you know, someone is going to is going to accept the money that the hedge funds and the uh, publications and the uh, the analysts, people like Michi Kuo, are throwing at them to leak information. Someone's going to accept it, and the mm-hmm. more people you get involved with that, the more chances that that money is going to find a, a willing acceptor. So I think that for the the Mac rumors that are currently out there. I think we're probably fairly late in that life cycle, mm-hmm. and they're probably pretty accurate. I think with AR, we're still early in the life cycle. And, and if you get the further out you get from Apple actually releasing a product, what you get are little pieces and leaks and, and, and the, tiny, the tiniest sliver of a picture of what Apple's doing because Apple is getting parts. Apple is testing out things. Apple is, is you know doing prototypes and mocking up stuff. And – what happens is that information that makes it to you know the financial press or the tech press or to the Minchi quotes of the world and to the hedge funds, but we don't really hear about that because the hedge funds actually use that information themselves. The uh, uh, they're getting accurate information, but it it reveals such 
a tiny sliver of what Apple's actually doing that yeah. that that it's the conclusions that you reach from that that often go awry. Yeah, it was. Um, I think one of the things I said on the live show, and they're like uh, a couple of things I want to hit really quickly. First of all, when you say uh, Kelly's show, you're actually referring to uh, the Daily Observation podcast, which is the yes. one that the Mac Observer does, just so people know. It's Kelly Guimont. Guimont? Yes. Guimont? I have never been able to pronounce Guimont. her last name properly. Okay. Uh, but that's it. Uh, so when, when uh, Brian says Kelly show, that's another daily yes. Apple news and news related to Apple news show because you can never have too many. Correct. The other thing really quickly, um, uh, it, what, I, what I actually said on uh, Mac OS Can Live the other day, it's possible that everything in that Bloomberg story is true. But like if you looked at everything that was coming out about Project Titan like three years ago. Like if you knew everything that was happening with Apple's, you know, car push three years ago, it would look like a hot mess because they were starting and they were working on tiny little things and different pieces and different parts. And, you know, they might decide to maybe not scrap the whole thing, but they might decide to go a completely different direction two or three years down the road. So it's possible all the stuff's true. It's possible it's all completely accurate. Not the business model part of it because it feels too early for that, but then all the other little pieces and parts, you got to figure there are like five different things that they're looking at in some lab someplace going, yeah, well, maybe that one. Let's keep going with that one and that one there and then the other two. Why don't you guys fold the into Apple those Apple TV things? is a great example of this. Yeah. Gene Munster was absolutely right about everything he said about the app. People give him so much crap and he was, a, he was absolutely right. Uh, the thing is, is that Apple canned it. Well, I'll, I'll give him a tiny bit of crap. He held on too long. There, there was a point. Um, there was a point. Well, I mean, um, people who knew me, there was a point where I said it's it, it's not going to happen because what Apple liked at the time was people standing in line for something. And no way everybody's going to line up for a television. It just wasn't going to happen. I mean, he was right because Apple has come out and said, yeah, we were working on it and we decided not to. To me, to my way of thinking, he held on to that one a bit too long. But that's no, but I think he held on to it for the right reasons, which was that Apple was still working on it and hadn't decided. Mm. Apple finally decided not to do the Apple TV because there were they couldn't control enough technology to to be able to maintain their competitive edge. Okay, All and of that, that was aside, the reason why that thing that it wasn't because people won't go line up for it. That's not why they canned it. All of that aside. I, we can have that argument another time. In fact, if you want to blow out one of our other things that we're talking about later this week, I'd be more than happy to do that show. And That'd we'll talk about fun. that on uh, on ACM on February 8th. Yeah, I got a thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I know. So here's, the other, so here's the other thing. You said um, a year ago or so, give or take, uh, that you didn't see Apple making a VR headset. And at the time, yeah. I didn't see Apple making a VR headset either. And it's still kind of hard for yeah. me to see, especially after reading yeah. the Bloomberg article. And yet, yeah. you could also make a case for me why they would. Are you still in the place of, no, they're never going to do that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Tell me yeah. why. I, I would be flabbergasted if Apple released a VR headset. Well, I mean, one reason would be that all of the technology that Apple has put into this area has been an AR, not VR. Mm -hmm. And for another, it is, uh, is not life impacting. No one's going to be walking down the street with VR glasses on. That right. defeats the purpose. AR could, can, could possibly add, could, uh, AR should be life changing. Right. When we don't have to hold our phones up in front of our face to, to get it. Yeah. When we can have when we can have AR information uh, on, on a pair of glasses, and it and it works, and it's easy to see, and it's easy to mani manipulate. That should actually change the way we live, kind of like the Segway did. LOL. Mm -hmm. Is you remember there, Steve saying saying that it was going to like cities are going to be designed around the Segway? Uh yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I that don't, was a quote I don't remember that was that. attributed to him. I don't know if he actually said it, but it was a, a quote that was attributed to him. To Waz, you mean? Uh, no, it was, it was Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs thought the same. Really? No, well, I no, we. I, I, it well, was no, a I, that yeah, was I understand. To him. Okay. So I'm I'm, not, I don't know that it was that it was real. See, so as a quick as a quick aside, um, I got to hear uh, Horace Tadeo speak uh, almost uh, almost three years ago now. Good grief! Hmm. Got to hear him speak almost three years ago now at this tiny little thing. There were like thirty people in the room. Maybe it was really just an amazing, amazing time. Um, but he was then starting to get into this idea of micro mobility and I, I still didn't understand. And honestly, I still don't understand, but that could be far too much. My 
working from home for too many years and also my very Western centric idea. You know, I mean, I have a house that has one car, but a three car garage. I don't have the house, but I mean, I live in a house that has one car, but has a three car garage because we're a very uh, car centric people, uh, at least in this part of the world. Hey, let me go back to the other thing really quickly about the AR and the VR. What I was trying to figure out, because what the Bloomberg piece said was uh, that this uh, the VR thing would be sort of ahead of Apple's real play, which is the AR thing. And I'm trying to figure out if there's anything like, does VR get you closer to AR for any reason at all? I don't see how it does. Yeah, me neither. Unless it has... It's you're manipulating information differently. You're receiving information differently. And you're constructing, are constructing it differently, and you're interacting with it differently. Right. So I, I, the only thing it, it could possibly do is give you some insight in making the you know, optics. Eyewear. That's that's like, yeah, right. The exactly. Optics. The optics would be the only thing that I can think of that you would actually do that with. I mean, now, granted, I'm not working in a lab that's working on it, so I don't know. But like. Even in terms of like, like trying to get the developers on board, I still don't think that that would work exactly because if you tell the developers, you know, you create this 3D landscape that people can look around and then when AR comes out, you're like, right now, I need you to take 10%. (laughs) VR is for gaming. It's for training. It's for simulations. Yes. And AR is is for for living. Right. AR is for for directions. Taking directions. Well, you see, I want AR to be so much more than all that stuff. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. It, you know, AR is for seeing, for seeing everybody's credit score. Yes, and, and nutritional information. Read. And it's seeing nutrition, seeing direction, seeing reviews of, of places, getting right. information on a product, getting, you know, being able to, to like, you know, see like the six places that, that, that sell this product, how long it's going to take to ship them, and, and, and what, what each one of them is charging, and then being able to actually trigger the, uh, trigger the purchase. Right? Yeah. I mean, the, the, those are things, and, and, and for remembering your friends' names. Yeah, like I, 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 I know I talked about this. I, I, I'm terrible with names. I don't want to be terrible with names. I don't have to be if I can actually have them displayed over their faces where only I can see. <laughs> right. You'd still right? be terrible with names. It's just nobody would know. Nobody would know. Or, or like, uh, uh, you know, here's Ken Ray. Like, you know, you and I like finally meet up, and here's Ken Ray. We last met. Uh, we last met in person. We were physically together in you know San Francisco, nineteen. Uh, I don't know what what was it. 1822. I don't know. It was some time ago. It was way too long ago. Yeah. Like you could have, you could have a history of, of, yeah. of all your interactions with someone right there that you can just quickly see, maybe thumb through, uh, notes on, on something you could have, you could have, um, um, you could have like a formula, like you're, 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 you're in a class or you're working and you could have a formula just, you know, like pop up outside of your vision that you need for, for like figuring something out. I mean, like there's so much that can be done with AR and yeah. it's so different from VR. There are two things I'll say really quickly. Uh, first of all, it also sounds incredibly boring. I mean, I mean, I, I want it to be world changing in a fun way. Like I want to have like a like a dude or a gal who like points me directions where they are, rather than just you know the flat arrow that turns cool. left up. Yeah, okay, that would be fun. Also, uh, it was Max Doc. Was that the last time we saw? That each was other? the last time we saw each other. Yeah, it was Max Doc. So. Oh, so it was. Yeah, so it was. See, yeah. if I, I would know that if I had my AR glasses. No glasses. What's well, because you're better than me. <laughs> no, it's just, you're I a have, better human being than I am. I have augmented. It is known. I have an augmented hearing thing that I'm working on, but shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody.